Hello everyone, I'm Father Scott Vanderveer. And just the other day, I was at the coffee hour for the parish after the 1115 Mass, and a woman who's been dealing with cancer for the better part of the past year, and very serious cancer, the kind of cancer that took both of her parents at a young age, she came up and she said, Father, the scan came back and I'm in remission. She said, don't ever wonder if prayer works. She said, prayer works. A lot of people have powerful stories of the way that prayer has worked in their life. And prayer does not always reverse a situation that is happening. It's not as if we can pray that something going on in the world will change and it will reverse. But our prayers have power. They work. You maybe have heard that God answers prayers in three ways. One answer God will give you is yes. Yes, let it be done as you have said. Another answer God sometimes gives is not yet. The time is not right. Hold on. And a third answer God gives is, I have something better in mind for you. So you see, God always responds to prayer. Some people say, God didn't answer my prayer. But the answer may have been a different response than yes. That's why I don't like to say that God answers prayers, God responds to prayers. God may respond yes. God may respond not yet. God may respond, I have something better in mind for you. One of the ways that people strengthen each other is to tell the way that God has worked in their life. And prayer does not always yield a physical manifestation. I can't necessarily pray that there will be a, a lit candle outside the door as soon as I walk out. That, that's not something that maybe I can manifest like some kind of, well, not to be disrespectful, but something reminiscent of a magic trick. Maybe instead, what I can ask for is for God to bless my path forward and show me signs of hope and healing. So a lot of times when I'm praying with someone or if I'm offering them a blessing, I will say, I am confident that this prayer or this blessing will work. But it will do what God wants it to do. So if you're praying that your cancer will go away, that may not be the response to the prayer. God may say, I have something different in mind for you. Maybe what'll happen as a result of that prayer or blessing won't be physical. Maybe it'll be emotional. Maybe our emotions will become calm. Maybe it'll be mental. Maybe our thinking will become clear. Maybe it will be spiritual. Our spirit, our, our strength inside will become more full, will we'll become stronger. Our our encouragement will become bulletproof. Our faith will be less susceptible to discouragement. So you see, there are many ways that a prayer can work without delivering for you what you thought you needed. There's a country song that says, thank God for unanswered prayers. If you've ever dated someone in high school, a boyfriend or a girlfriend who you thought you could not live without, and it turned out that the relationship didn't work, or after breaking up, you didn't get back together, something that you thought would have been the worst possible outcome, and then you realize, oh my goodness, this is the best thing that could have happened. It would have been wrong for me to have remained with that person. That is not God's wish for my life. So we have an opportunity to consider the way that God answers prayers, not with a yes all the time, but with a yes, or with a 
not yet. Or with a, I have something different in mind for you, and it's better. We might say, how could not answering my prayer be better than answering it? But of course, God's ways are not our ways. And God sees along a timeline that stretches so much farther than we could ever fathom. So let us be encouraged in the way that prayer helps us, guides us, lifts us up, allows us to find our way forward. Thank you for praying for me. Your prayers are working, and I'll pray for you too. May God bless you and all those you love.